Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Absolutely a beautiful day going on here today. And uh, great solar charging conditions. A little cloudy, but lots of good sun peeking through there. Everything's up to a nice full charge, and I'm, I'm making the rounds. Uh, checking up on things that I wasn't being able to for the past month or so. But I'll show you what I'm going to look at real quick here. So I still have these portable foldable panels set out here from Nursvi. I didn't plan on leaving them out here for a month. I had a, some hard rigid panels that I was going to put up in here for the Bungaloha. But I just thought it's worth mentioning that these things have really taken a beating and they show absolutely no signs of uh, any wear or degradation of being out in the sun and you know feet of rain that has poured down on them. And you can see the, the jungle starting to encroach a little bit. But I thought it was worth showing just how amazing uh, these panels actually are. I mean, as I showed you before, you know, they just have this super, super tough exterior. And, you know, I normally wouldn't have thought about leaving, you know, a, a portable, foldable array out in the elements nonstop. But then if I fold this back up, you know, I mean, the material back here is absolutely just, I mean, nothing. I don't have any mold buildup or anything on here, which really kind of surprised me. So, you know, I gotta, I gotta give my, uh, thumbs up to these foldable panels and I did a, do a review on this if some of you are just seeing this for the first time You can go back and watch them, but yeah 400 watts of uh, You know, I mean they're a little flexible. I mean not to where you could bend them onto uh, Any kind of installation, but you know, they're not they're not uh, like the rigid metal framed Solar panels that I have up all over the place, but you know, they're they do have a little flex to them, but all in all, they're pretty darn rigid just in, in and of themselves. But I am going to fold these up and put a different rigid array in here that I'm going to do a review on. Got some new solar panels. They look to be superb as well. But boy, for just a foldable kind of a suitcase, 400 watts, deploy it anywhere. And, you know, I have some fairly harsh conditions because if it's not just pouring rain, uh, the sun's beating down and you know, both of those going on at the same time sometimes, those things look fantastic. And then here on this uh, rigid array, now this is, this thousand watts is powering that 600 amp hour bank of Chin's batteries. And you know, it's been getting up to a full charge every day for the past month, basically. Uh, to where I hadn't really been looking at anything that close. You know, I was just kind of making the rounds uh, in my stupor and making sure everything was uh, looking good on the gas gauge. But yesterday I looked at it much closer and I realized that there was a real difference between my top string and my bottom string, which each go into a separate charge controller. And the top string was fully 100 watts off of what it should be. Normally they are uh, identical. I mean, with just in a watt or two uh, because they're all at the same angle and everything. And what I found was a dead panel and it's that one right there. So I'm gonna have to switch that out. That's the third panel in the past three years that I've had fail. Uh, that's one of the new powers. In fact, these are all new powers and I do have another new power but I'm gonna have to explore those uh, a little bit cl uh, closer, open up the, the case in the back. I'm suspecting that little diode that's in there might be failing. I looked at one of the failed ones from a couple of years ago and was looking at how that diode was, um, but I'm gonna have to research that a little bit further. But anyway, I'm gonna replace that panel. Uh, later this afternoon and get them up to where they're both 500 watt strings because what I did is I went in there underneath and quickly disconnected it and connected the four up in series. Uh, so that one's out of production right there. So now I've got a 900 watt uh, you know, string of panels there. Yeah, so 
uh, you know, a month. These have been sitting out here like this too, coming off that uh, 400 watt NERS V foldable array. Uh, I did not want to leave my MC4s like this on the ground, but uh, you can see <laughs> in the past month how quickly the the jungle conditions start to cover everything up. And in another month, you wouldn't see any of these cables. I mean, it would just be completely covered up. So I don't like leaving them like this. That wasn't my plan. So, you know, I'm finding all kinds of things now that I'm really cruising around and seeing where I left off a month ago. But what I like to do is I always like to cover these up, especially these. I don't mind leaving the cables kind of going across the ground in different places. This is not how I wanted it, but, and I don't mind letting the jungle just kind of cover up the cables themselves because then it's, they're completely protected from UV. But the main reason I don't like the, the connections on the uh, MC4 connectors is the little bit of electrical current that goes through there attracts those little fire ants. And they're so small, they're almost imperceptible to the naked eye. And I don't see any on here right now, but I have in the past when these are left uncovered, I'll see a, you know, like hundreds of them gathering around. And I assume it's because of that electrical current they sense. I don't know what it is about that, but I don't like them crawling around in any of my uh, connections at all. And here's just some... Uh, same same string now. I'm almost up to the bungalow. Ha. I've got a, uh, several of these tied together to reach all the way. And you can just see how fast now in another uh, matter of days that positive cable would be uh, invisible. And as you can see, it's already just closing up on the, the negative there. And in another week or two, you wouldn't see these cables at all. And my auxiliary water tank, a uh, thousand gallons there, has done nothing but overflow uh, each and every day. Uh, and it's time to break out the, the weed whacker. Uh, this is like Jack and the Beanstalk here. And you can see, you know, it <laughs> in another week or so, it would be high enough to really start blocking out uh, my array there. That one's powering up uh, three different systems and it really needs to uh, be cleared out here. So, yeah, and walking about, I'm seeing all the stuff that I've got to do. Yeah, this stuff here, you know, it can grow a foot a day, but I had it knocked down pretty good a month ago, but it's coming up good now. And then back here on my uh, main catchment tank as you can see it's completely full but where I left off uh, back when I was putting this cover on it uh, this brand new cover now you know it's sagging down and resting in the water and I don't like that birds come up here and uh, play in that and it can breed mosquitoes sitting there like that so what I'm gonna do for that and it's been suggested by somebody, and I see a lot of other people do that out here, is I'm gonna put like a uh, inflatable beach ball right in the center, and, and a, a nice sturdy beach ball. And that'll hold it up enough to where the water drains off and it won't be sitting there. Now, if the water tank level was a little bit lower, but this thing's been doing nothing but, but overflowing too every time it rained, so water, water situations in good shape other than just boosting the center up a little bit with that beach ball all these little projects i got to catch up on so that's what i'm going to be doing the rest of the day is uh, catching up a little bit on some things and i'm happy to do it let me tell you uh and for those of you that have made it this far in this video uh today is saturday and I have scheduled to do a live stream tomorrow so I can uh, catch up with you guys. It's been a while to do that. I'm going to go live at 10 a.m. tomorrow my time. So whatever time that is where you guys are at. I did put a, a notice on the web or on the uh, channel page. And hopefully you got notified about that. And it notifies you 
of the correct time where you are at that I will be live and we can I can field your questions, comments, and we can talk about whatever you guys want to. So yeah, all right. Got a few projects to do in paradise today. Catch up. Aloha, everybody. Okay, let's get busy. Hope to see a bunch of you tomorrow. It's always fun to sit around and chat live with you guys. Start folding up some panels here, putting new ones out. 